Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we will learn and master how to use Bootstrap component progress bar. Whenever we want to indicate user with a progress item like a scroll bar which is progressing or something like with percentage that certain percentage of work is done and such so much is pending it's a visual uh, feedback again to the user on the status of the progress being made that's where progress bar can be used and it's a very important component um, to kind of add interactivity with the user we will learn how to customize it we will learn how to use different colors we'll use different types of progress bars in our application Let's get started. This is part 24 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. Uh, I have planned more than around 40 plus uh, hands-on tutorials and soon we will also do a few live examples. We have done few in the past in this series. We will again do some in coming episodes. If you like my work, uh, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Alright, so before we get started, I will request you to kindly check out all the previous uh, episodes that I've covered in this series uh, that would really help you learn and master Bootstrap 5 from scratch. We have also done few live projects so make sure check it out. It's fun to check out uh, the grids and live design and layouts. You will only learn something out of it. Alright, so this is part 24. Today we are learning about Bootstrap Progress Component. Alright, so Bootstrap Progress Component, um, like I said, it's a visual hint to show the progress um, and we can set percentage to it we can set the value that it is growing uh, what type of uh, progress bar do you want there are two important classes that you should be remembering one is div class equal to progress and div class progress bar right so these are the two important things that it has and we can play with it we can provide value we can provide percentage style we can provide what type it is like progress bar striped etc Let's see this in action and do some hands-on activity now. So what we are going to do, we are going to go to our application. This is what we have been building so far. We have used tooltip. We have done the popover in the last episode. Today, let's put some progress bar here um, and see how it looks in this particular design. So let's go here and in th on the top of the table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a progress bar here. Let's say progress bar here. And what we are going to do, save this, then go to our bootstrap code and here. And again, I always tell everybody, do not try and type the code. Okay, the best always implementation is to copy the existing code and then grow on top of it because that way your mistake will be reduced. Otherwise, a lot of times you will struggle with the some double codes not closing, class name is not correct, etc. So to start with basic, I will just take this code and put it here. All it has is div class equal to progress and progress bar, right? It's just a simplest basic implementation of progress bar in bootstrap. Now let's see this, how it looks. So refresh. Okay. It's not showing up. Okay. Let's see why did we save it? Yes. And maybe it's outside. Let's put it inside. And I'm going to put it right here after the div or let's put it inside the table. Okay. Um, let's do one thing. Let's not put it here. Let's put it at the top after inspections. Okay. Now we saved it. It is showing, you see this white color. Okay, it is showing the white color. So I'm going to put a, this is the gray color one. So let me take the blue one. So that is working and let's put the blue one. Let's clean up the code. Now you go ahead. So now you see this is showing the progress bar, but it looks dull, right? So what are the different options we have that we can customize? You can add a label to it. That's beautiful, right? So what we can do? We can add this layout and add a label to this progress bar. Let's see that now. Let's copy that example, put it here. So now you see it is showing 25% complete. But again, the background looks a little dull, right? So we can always change it with the height, right? So you can increase the height of it. So you all you can do is just put style height 20 pixel, right? So put a style for this 
can see I have put 20 pixels so it has become little big here now you can also say progress bar striped right progress bar striped so now you see it is striped right it looks much better correct now similarly there are other options where you can give background color and say what kind of background color do you want so here you can always customize and say I want it to be success which is green color so now it is of green color right so this is how different um, progress bars you can do you can have multiple progress bars also you can use in one go you can have customized striped ones like this uh, you have the animation right toggle animation you see so you can copy that also and put this progress bar animated class to it right let's add that here progress bar animated now you see it is moving I for some reason don't like green that much so let's stick to blue because that's the color or we can use something like warning maybe oh it looks bad <laughs> okay let's use BG so you see now it looks like it is moving right so this is a cool component which can be used to display the progress uh, and you can show some different things like labels you can show animation to it different colors you can use you can use secondary you can use danger like this right or you can use danger these are the different classes that are there which you can use and make it look good right so go ahead give it a try to this component let me know if you have any issues i hope you should not have but if you have any please reach out to me in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you i hope you are becoming a better designer by learning bootstrap 5 with me and soon we'll also do some live examples to show you and build your confidence that even you can do it in the next episode we will learn about bootstrap spinners stay tuned for that if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials thank you so much